I think that her bodyguards should drop all weapons. They should disarm, right? right? I think they should disarm immediately. What do you think? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Take their guns away. She doesn't want guns. Take their, let's see what happens to her. Take their guns away. Okay. It'll be very dangerous. That's Donald Trump making another provocative statement about the Second Amendment, suggesting Hillary Clinton's bodyguard should be, as you've heard, unarmed. The Clinton campaign firing back, accusing Trump of inciting violence and saying the comment was out of bounds. The question is, was it? Here to debate is Angela McGlowan, a Fox News political analyst, and Mark Levine, a Democratic Virginia state representative and a radio talk show host. Thank you for joining us. I, I got to ask both yeah. of you, do either of you believe that Donald Trump really means to incite violence towards the Democratic presidential nominee, a former Secretary of State, a former U.S. Senator, Hillary Clinton? Of course not, think... but I mean, go ahead, go Mark. Ahead, go ahead. No, well, well, I of don't course think not. I don't... Okay, Angela, <laughs> why don't you start? <laughs> Listen, of course not, Kelly. And Donald Trump saying something provocative, Donald Trump saying something out of bounds, that's how he won the nomination. This is going to be a photo finish race, and every issue counts, and every vote counts. And look, Mark, Hillary Clinton had a very bad week. And what do liberals do, Kelly? Deflect, deflect, deflect. So you know what? Let's demonize Donald Trump. Mark, is it a deflection when he comes out and says this? I don't think it matters whether he intended it or not. This isn't the first time he suggested people attacking Hillary Clinton. And let's remember, we have had presidents be shot. We've had president, uh, people oh, running for president, on. Bobby Kennedy being killed. This is, it is out of bounds. Angela, come on. You, if, if Hillary Clinton even suggested anything like that, you'd be all over her. This is not but something that anyone that should Donald say, Trump much less Donald Trump. Violence. If somebody's going to do something wrong, Mark, they're going to do it anyway. Well, well, they're me... looking for an excuse. Let me ask this, because this, as, as Mark alluded to, this was mentioned before where yes. Donald Trump had talked about uh, the Second Amendment and seeing what would happen to Hillary Clinton if you took that away. That happened in Wilmington, North Carolina back in August. So, look, the, the bottom line is this is a politically, a highly politically charged mm -hmm. uh, presidential election. We've never seen anything like it. But it's also one which words matter. So was Trump going off script? And what impact going off script will this have on both candidates? Mark? Well, I think, Trump, I think Donald Trump well, go goes ahead. off script a lot. Uh, I think, in fact, his campaign would love to keep him on script, would love to chain him to his teleprompter and make him say only what's on there. But I don't <laughs> think he has the power to do that. This is the guy who mocks disabled people, who called John McCain oh, not on. a war hero. He attacked Megyn Kelly. This is a guy who and literally can't... And that has can't... nothing to do with creating a better America. That has nothing to do but that's the with point. making America great again. But that's Kelly, the point. in 2012, he... conservatives defeated Mitt Romney. Obama and conservatives defeated Mitt Romney. I'm from Mississippi, and what we care about is God, guns, and country. Let me ask so you this then. Let me remember Mitt Romney. This in. Campaign, Clinton campaign manager Robbie Mook said this, quote, whether this is done to provoke protesters at a rally or casually or even as a joke, it is an unacceptable quality in anyone seeking the job of commander-in-chief. And he went on to say in a statement, this kind of talk should be out of bounds for a presidential candidate. Is Mr. Trump out of bounds here. That's the question I'm asking. He is. I remember Mitt Romney. Donald Trump is no Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney would never have said anything like this. Mitt Romney respects the office of the presidency too much to also, suggest that anyone harm the president. Do you want Mitt Romney to be the nominee? Do you want Mitt well, Romney to be the nominee? Angela, compared to Donald, Donald Trump? Trump? Angela, let me ask you then, because yes. of this statement that Trump made, uh, is, is he losing ground on a basket of deplorables, which Hillary said uh, and, and, of course, that's something that he could have capitalized on. But instead, he took a turn and started talking about, let's see what happens. And now the conversation is about him and no longer about Hillary Clinton and basket of deplorables. Kelly, this race is far from over. We still have not gotten our October surprise, so whatever happens now, I mean, Donald Trump said Mex Mexican judge. I could go down the list. The bottom I line is too. he did go after Megyn Kelly, but he's still very popular, and your candidate, Mark, is flawed. That's why Donald Trump can really practically say whatever, because he's the only candidate that's made a payroll. He's well, truth the be only told, candidate aren't both candidates flawed in terms of I, Hillary Clinton I, not being trustworthy and Donald I think Trump Donald not 
about being viewed as being qualified, doesn't that mean that both candidates are flawed and both of them have to work hard to make sure that they ensure getting some confidence within the American people? I think Donald Trump is appealing to people who are mentally deficient. I really do. I think he's Angela reaching out to people. I can't believe it. Okay, Angela last word. Report that guy. Okay, take so a I pop guess that you're Hillary a psychiatrist. Clinton. Oh, so I guess, okay, so I Dangerous guess, uh, you know, you've had four-star generals that have endorsed Donald Trump, so then they're okay. mentally ill? Come on, Mark. No, I'm saying that someone we, could we take a pop at Hillary Clinton. They're going to keep on talking. we got to leave it there. Mark Levine <laughs> and Angela McLeod is trying to give you the last word, Angela, but uh, obviously it's more of a, an argument between the two of you. The debate continues. Thank you, Kelly and Angela. Thank you.